right, my name is Josh Freeman. Welcome back to um, the series Building Culture. Um, we're in Building Culture Part 2, and we're specifically talking about vision today. I love talking about vision. I would consider myself to be a, a visionary type person focused on this sort of thing. It's my favorite thing to talk about. So I'm excited to talk about it with you today. And so last time, and you can always refer back to my other videos. And the first video we talked about um, building culture and exactly what culture is. And we establish that culture is, you know, the belief and values of what your organization is and does and whatnot. And your belief is your how and your value is your why. It's kind of what moves your culture. It is who you are. Um, today we're going to talk about vision and, and it is very important for you to realize that vision is based on your beliefs and your values. If those don't match up, if it doesn't match up with what your culture is, then your vision and culture is just going to create a very, very bad scenario, crash vehicle. It's just not going to be moving in the right direction. So today we're going to talk about three things that your vision should be doing. And so if culture is a car, then vision is driving your culture. If culture is a car. Culture is the car, the essence of the car. It is the physical car. Then vision is what drives your culture forward. It's what drives the vehicle forward. It gets you to where you're going. It's moving. So now that your culture is a noun, it is who you are. Your vision is the verb. It is moving you forward. It is an action in what your culture is doing. And so it's very important that we get our vision moving our culture in the direction that we want it to go. So keeping in this mindset of a vehicle and uh, culture being the car and vision kind of being what moves the car then uh, three things that your sh culture should be doing is it should be driving your culture. Vision should be driving your culture. So vision is the driver. So it should be driving your culture. It is the driver, obviously. So vision is the driver. If your culture is a car, then vision is driving it. Vision should be driving your culture forward. It should be moving it forward. Like I said, it is verb. It's action of what your culture is, who you are. It is moving your beliefs, your how, and your values, your why. Other way around, sorry. Um, moving that forward. It should be moving you. It's driving you to a place. And so if culture... <laughs> Once again, if culture is a car, vision is driving that culture. So your vision should be driving you, should be moving you forward. It shouldn't just be sitting still like a vehicle. If it sits too long, what happens? It breaks down. Things just stop working. It's not moving. It's not doing anything. It's rusting. It's getting old, dirty, gross, that kind of thing. Same thing with your culture. Your culture should not just be who you are and then you sit in a bubble. You can't get anything done as an organization since you're already moving, since your organization is actually already doing something, then how about intentionally driving it to a place? And so that's the next point. So your vision should be directing your culture. It should be taking you somewhere. So two, directing you somewhere should give your culture direction. So in this case, it would be the GPS. The GPS of your culture. Your vision should be the GPS of your culture. Your vision should direct you to a specific place. You need to know where you're going and how you're going to get there. And so that's what vision does. It provides you with that, that uh, exactly that question. Where do you want to be? Where does your culture want to be? Where does your organization want to be? So it is driving your culture and moving you to a specific location. So vision is driving your culture. It's also the GPS of your culture. It's finding a place um, of where you're going and how you're going to get there, kind of creating this map for where you're going to be. But number three, you need to know how you're going to get there when you arrive. It's your destination. Destination. Vision is providing your culture in a direction, and it's telling you when you arrive at your destination. Destination. So pretty much this would be your ETA, your estimated time of arrival. 
Not only do you need to be moving, driving, not only do you need to know where you're going and how you're going to get there, the map of where you're going, you need to know when you're going to get there. And so what this would be for, for your vision in your culture, it's, it's the, uh, it's the measurable goals. It's, uh, it's exactly the, the point of where you want to be. You need to, you need to know where you're going. You need to know what it looks like and you need to know when you arrive. Otherwise your vehicle is just going to continually drive and drive and drive. And you're just going to keep going around and around. And you're never going to actually arrive and create a purpose and have a, a mission and a success. <laughs> you're never actually going to get to where you want to go unless your, vi- your culture has vision that takes you somewhere. And so you have to create clear, measurable goals. So you know exactly what that looks like, what the destination is. And so your vision and all together, if it's, if culture is the car, vision's driving it. You, your vision is a driver. It's your GPS. It's your ETA. Um, and so this is huge. Obviously vision is a huge part of what we do in organizations, uh, whether it be nonprofit churches, um, actual you know, businesses, other things, whatever it is, any group of people getting together, which is a culture, um, and creating a culture needs some sort of vision. And, um, that vision, if you are intentionally creating it should be shaped by, um, your beliefs and your values. It should drive you. It should be your GPS. It should direct you where you're going and it should get you to an actual place that you want to be and have an estimated time of arrival. And so this is big. This is huge. This is what you need to be establishing in your cultures. If you want to build successful, healthy cultures, if you want to build successful, healthy um, ministries or, or businesses or nonprofits, any sort of organization, you need vision to take you where you're going and where you want to be. Without vision, it's not going to get go anywhere. It's just going to be a car that rusts and dies out. So uh, you need to be asking your yourself four questions, and it's all based of what we just talked about. So the four questions are: number one, based um, is is your vision based on your culture? So is your vision? This is huge. It's got to align, otherwise you're going to crash your car. If your your vision has to be based off of your belief and your values, it's got to be based off of your how and your why. Um, and if these, well, once again, if that is not correct, something's wrong with your vehicle, you're going to crash, it's going to burn. So your vision needs to be guided by your beliefs and your values, your how and your why. And so number two, the question would be, um, where is your vision driving your culture? Is your vision driving your culture. Do you, are you going somewhere? Are you moving? Are you just sitting still? This is important question to answer and really reflect on your organization. Is your culture just dormant? Is it sitting still? Um, if not this vision, you need to, you need to figure out exactly how your vision is going to drive you, propel you, move you forward. Uh, number three is your vision directing your culture. Does it have some sort of direction? Is it a GPS moving you in a direction in a map that you know exactly where you're going and how you're going to get there, the turns you need to take, the moves you need to make, all that kind of stuff? Is it directing you? And then number four, will you know when you've made it? Will you know when you've made it? Is your vision, does your vision have a destination? Do you know when you'll arrive? Does it have an estimated time of arrival? Um, so those are like the main four questions that you need to be asking about vision for your culture. Um, and so uh, that, that'll that conclude the video for today. Um, refer back to the intro video about what culture is. Uh, vision is huge. Remember, if culture is a car, vision drives the car. So that's kind of a huge part in our culture. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helps you out. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like to, to, I'd just love to know what your thoughts are on all of this. Share the video, it'd be helpful um, if you think somebody needs to hear this and whatnot. But let's be building healthy cultures that have vision that are moving us forward. I look forward to talking to you guys later. Bye.